All right, guys, well, I uh, had the S4 for sale for um, like probably two and a half weeks, and I love that car. But at the end of the day, it was a flip car, and it wasn't selling, so I offered a trade for this car, and the guy accepted. So I drove up two hours to Bemidji, got this, and a set of 95 Mustang wheels on good tires which I have sold, guys pick them up tomorrow, so that's 100 bucks. So basically got this in 100 bucks. But um, it's kind of cool, there's some things I didn't know about it. The body's got its scratches and stuff like that. You know, it's an old it's old paint, it needs to be fully corrected. But uh, it's not too bad, there's zero rust in, in and out on the car. It's got 120K on it, so it's pretty low miles for an 01 Mustang GT. It's got the, you know, the five-speed manual, the four-six V8, two-valve. The famous two-valves for being slow but sounding amazing. Well, that's true. <laughs> it's very slow. Um, I mean, it pulls decent in first and second gear, but anything over that, it feels like a dog. The S4 would have drugged this thing in a race. Like, probably like three car lengths above. <laughs> but, uh, interior is kind of a mess right now. I've been daily driving it here for two days since I got home. But the thing I hate the most is this damn Momo Racing suede seat. Now, it's apparently this is a really expensive seat. And it does its job, but I hate driving the car because of it. I love the car, and I love how it drives. It has zero, zero issues. Minus that damn seat. Why couldn't they just left the stock one in this car? But uh, I have this sold, too. So I sold this for 300 bucks. I don't know if it's worth that or more or what. I don't care. I'm using, you know, 100 of that to buy another matching driver's seat, like the passenger one. And then I'm going to use whatever's left of that to buy a spoiler. Because uh, they took the spoiler off and then painted the trunk flat black to cut when they filled in the holes, which I got new paint for it from the matching paint color for Ford. Luckily, it was only the trunk down here. Uh, I can't tell if that's dirt. I think it was the whole trunk lid, not just the top. And then uh, this is just all dirt. But uh, the car is zero rust. And then I'm gonna kind of re-clear coat this. But I'm gonna order the factory black spoiler, the 01 to 04 spoiler. And I'm gonna, you know, install it. And then I'll have that, a stock seat. And what's nice about this car is it's got fully upgraded suspension to the, uh, the uh, 01 Cobra. Full shocks, Bilstein, built brand new Bilstein struts, Cobra sway bar, sway bars. I can't talk. Um, everything else, it's got poly poly bushings all around every bushing. It's a pretty firm ride, but this thing handles amazing. It doesn't handle like a Mustang. It handles like it's on rails. It handles better than my S4 did. It's very direct. It's almost too direct. As you can see, the hood is not exactly the same color. It's a carbon fiber cowl hood. It's painted, but underneath it's carbon. I can show you guys when I pop the hood in a different video. It's cracking a little bit there, but it's a functioning cowl hood and it's carbon fiber. It's very light. It's got these nice uh, wheels. I can't really pronounce the name of them. They came chrome, but I sanded them down, painted them black, satin black. I think it looks way better. It's got really meaty tires on it, 275s in the rear. <sighs> They're just Federals, but they look really good. They look really good. These wheels are very dusty. I was on a dirt road. But uh, yeah, manual transmission, it's got a short shifter, a few other little things, Bluetooth radio, low miles, I mean, and I already have almost 10 people wanting to come look at this car for 8K, so that'll make me a few thousand dollar profit off of that S4. I'd love to keep this thing and supercharge it or pro charge it, and then I've always wanted a boosted two valve. This is the perfect one to do it on. Needs new headlights. They're eBay specials, they suck. They get condensation in them. But it's got the chin spoiler and it looks pretty decent. I think with a good paint correction and a few touch-ups, it would look pretty good. Screw that seat, trust me, my back hurts so bad. It's locking up. How did my dip can get up here? That's strange. It's got the mock audio system. It's got it's fully straight piped with an X-pipe, an off-road X-pipe, so it is loud and it sounds really good. But if I was going to keep this car, I just wanted to say, I want to do a couple of videos on it before it's gone, because it's cool. Rides amazing, minus the firm ride. It feels like a race car from all the poly upgrades, the Cobra sway bars, front and rear. Uh, the Bilstein suspension with Cobra um, springs on it. Cobra lowering springs, I guess is what they are. My guess is it's just a two-valve lowering spring, but 
Um, it's got a stack of receipts for all the all the Cobra upgrades. They basically turned the full suspension into an 01 Cobra. That's why it doesn't sit quite as high as a regular two valve, I guess. It's got a little bit of a squat to it. Not like a squat, but it's not quite jacked up like two valves come. Pretty nice, I like it. It's a solid car. The body's straight, there's no dents or anything like that. Zero rust underneath it anywhere.